Hi guys, Flight Scar here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your system to allow you to create mods for Fallout 4. Um, first of all, you will need to download the creation kit from the Bethesda.net launcher. Um, it's just this here. Uh, if you click on this arrow, if you can't see it on the side, you will find it in the list. Just click creation kit Fallout 4 and this button will be an install button install that and it will drop the creation kit into your Fallout 4 directory and just as a step to make it a bit easier uh, we'll, I'll show you how to make it so your mod can use Fallout 4 as well as Nuka World um, Far Harbor and the other DLCs as well. So you've got this creation kit.any file. If you just open that up in a text editor and you want to add this line here, this B allow multiple master loads, and that will enable you to actually run your mod with all the different uh, DLCs. So once that's all out of the way, we can just click on the creation kit and this does take a little while to load. So once you have your creation kit open, you can click on file and data. Once you're on this screen, you can select uh, the master files that your mod will use. This allows your mod to have access to the files that are in um, the, the records that are in each of the files. So if I choose Fallout4.esm by double clicking it, this means I can choose any records that are available in the base game. And if I add a DLC robot.esm it would mean that I can use things from Automatron and that goes the same for just about any mod really. So once you've done that you just click OK and this step can take several minutes uh, just don't click anything or else the creation kit will just fall over. Um, but once that's all done um, I will come back and show you the next step. So now that all the files are loaded um, you can tell it's loaded by the fact that there's lots of records in this list now. Um, everything in the CK is kind of just in different categories. Um, I will go over a couple of ones of these in a future video but um, not in this video. Uh, this is just all about getting yourself up and running. So once um, you have get into this step, it's good practice to uh, basically set up your mod to actually allow you to not break the base game. So how you do that is by clicking File and then choose and save and you just give your mod a name doesn't matter what this name is, um, just make sure it doesn't already exist in your Fallout 4 data folder. I'm just going to call it Flight Scott's Cool Mod and click save. And apparently I already have that file and I'm going to say yes we can overwrite it. And right, what that means is now any changes that we make to anything in here will have no effect um, on the base game so if we remove our new mod it will have uh, no changes in the base game so we're all good and that's it for this video guys speak to you later bye